Hi, let's talk about making an infographic using an awesome, awesome app called Canva. So first you're gonna want to sign up for Canva. You can do this for free. And then and you just give them your email and then you're in. And this is what it looks like when you're in your Canva account. One place to get a lot of inspiration for infographics is right in Canva. So if you click here, more, you will find all sorts of templates. And I'm just gonna scroll down. I'm looking for the infographic template. Here it is. So usually infographics are pretty long. So this one's 800 pixels by 2000 pixels. So it's it's a very long graphic. So I'll click that and it will open the, the template up for me. And there's other templates available. So I can actually click the one that I think would be most useful for my information. So you'll notice that that infographics can be organized many, many different ways. So for example, this one has, it's the best things to donate. So it just has a list of things to donate. Um, and as you scroll down, this one has statistics here. This one has some images off to the left and then captions on the right. Um, this is more of a list format here. This has a paragraph describing what the infographic is all about and then four boxes with statistics. So this one's a timeline. So there's many, many, many ways you can organize your information. And so you just have to kind of pick which one will work best for what, what you've chosen to create your infographic about. So let's say I wanted to click this one. This one has to do with social media and it's free. As you scroll down, uh, they'll begin to cost money. So you just want to pick the free one. So I've, I've chosen this infographic and you can actually zoom in by clicking here and you can zoom in and so you're of course going to want to write your own information in your own words using whatever resources you have found such as articles that your teacher has provided or uh, research you've done online uh, making sure to check that your source is reliable and I have another video about how to do that so you definitely want to watch that uh, so you could actually just click here and just start editing it. Best social media platforms for kids. Now this is way too big, so I can actually just highlight it and I can change the font. It's super fun to make infographics um, because of course, I, I myself love ch changing fonts, changing sizes, just making it look eye pleasing. And I'm pretty sure kids like that too. So, um, so this infographic comes with a little, so a big title and then a little subtitle. You can always delete that if you don't want it. So if you want to delete, you just click up here and delete. And and then when you, if you want to change the graphics, you can actually upload pictures from your computer instead of using the graphics that are here. You can search graphics, different gra graphics if you want. So notice Snapchat is not on here. So, and I know Snapchat is one of the most popular um, social media platforms for kids. So Snapchat. And uh, so, and then of course I'll, take this out and put my own information in there later. So if I want to add my own graphic here, I can actually just search. Let's see if anything pops up when I search Snapchat. Yep. Okay. So I can click Snapchat and then I can resize it and insert it into here and then change. I can even change the background of this if I want. So if I click off to the side and I click here you can change the transparency you can make it white um, 
let's see, you can change the background color by clicking, usually you click off to the side here. Okay, oh, here it is. Okay, so see how it's black right now? And so I can change it if I want to green, blue. I think you get the idea. So this is a really, really awesome tool, Canva, for creating infographics. So play around with it and, um, and just have fun.